Now the meter maze is something, uh, is something that we just kind of have out for students to play with. Um, and I think you found, those of you who tried it, it's a lot of fun. Um, and the whole idea, you know, mirrors uh, will reverse left and right. Actually, they'll reverse left and right handedness. Okay, but as you're going through this, uh, what's your phrase? It reverses. Well, it, it doesn't reverse left and right, if you notice that. If, if your maze goes to the right, you need to move your hand to the right. But a lot of people think that it reverses left and right because if you look in the mirror, you raise your right hand. It's the right hand that goes up in the mirror image, the one you know towards your right. <coughs> but it looks like the person's left hand, so we say the hand in this changes. What reverses is front to back. Left to right, top to bottom don't reverse, but front to back. So my front's pointing that way, but the image's front is pointing opposite. So, so that's the tough part. You need to go <coughs> front and back on that mirror maze, not left and right. Uh, not a not uh, volunteer, someone with uh, limited artistic skills. Jamie's volunteering. Yeah. Or volunteering. Yeah, have you, would you like to trace your uh, face? Yeah. So we just use an overhead marker and uh, mirror tile in here. And just outline, so hold your head steady. Yeah, you don't have to do the hair and all that, just kind of get down to the chin. But the hair's a nice touch, right? <laughs> Oh, you don't even have to do the eyes to be very unique. Yeah, just a cheap oval. Now, <laughs> and you need to make any corrections? No. <laughs> Is it like pretty good? Okay. B? Are you sure you don't need to trim any fat there? You're just not okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that exactly where your chin is? You know, don't don't erase it. Just just draw just a new one. Right. Yeah. No. Oh. All right. We need someone else who's not. Uh, <laughs> you know, you actually. <laughs> you're ruining our demo. I, know. <laughs> <laughs> I guarantee that. that we need another. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have the Windex Murphy's fine. <laughs> we'll use this one now. All right. So we're going to have someone up. You, you were overthinking it. I, trust me. You need someone who's not. <laughs> no demo for you. So <laughs> yeah. Tell me uh, where to hold this for you. Okay, so we're just a simple oval. Okay, now does your face fit exactly in there? Yeah, you make change it. All right, look at the size of that. What? Amy, what were you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we know you have a big size. <laughs> <laughs> Let me measure uh, <laughs> Jessica's pin head. Okay, I've got again. We've used our same physics measuring tools that we use for the candle in the in the mirror up there. All right, good. And uh, if you notice, chin to eyes here, yeah. eyes to the top of her head. Okay, we can do it with the width as well. So from ear to nose, nose to ears. Okay, what about the size of the mirror needed there? With my accurate physics measuring tools. Yeah, you only need a mirror half as big as you to see your full image. Now, let me back this up. Because you know, ladies, Tom, when you're looking at the compact, <laughs> when you're looking at the compact uh, and you need to see more of your face, don't you just move that compact further backwards you know, to see more of your face? Anyone done that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that really doesn't work. It only works if you're tilting the mirror to see different parts of your face. Jessica, if we uh, back this up, tell me, do I need to put it up or down? Okay, do you still fit in the same? The same, and if I move it way over here, same amount, right? So no matter where you are, you always need a mirror half as big as you, and this we do with, with your face to see your full image. Now, we've got to be careful. This is not for any object, it's only for the for you seeing yourself. Meaning, I can use a flat mirror and see the moon. It's much smaller than this. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's this demo only works uh, for when you're looking at yourself. However, what do students get wrong after they or they miss? What's a uh, misconception with this demo? Do you know? The images. Yeah, the images. That's right. Yeah, the image is smaller. Now we'll spend a lab measuring the size of the image, which is the same size. Okay. We'll do problems on it, asking them. But then they'll go with this, and they'll say, "Oh yeah, because the image is half the size." You know, one quick way you can do that is just to say, "All right, put your hand right up to the mirror. Is your image hand half as big as 
is the one that you're putting up there? No, they're the actually. Oh, yeah, that's true. Right here. Uh, in honors, we actually have them do the actual proof, and in regular, we just have them um, sketch it. But as we said before, if you want to look at your toes in a mirror, so here's a mirror, here's the image, and here's the object. All you need to do is look down at your toes. Now I'm going to put the, my eyes on the top of my head just to uh, make my proof a little easier. And here I have light coming from the image of my toes. So I got to get my arrow in there. Which obviously, if I drew back, would be coming from my actual toe. Right? Those angles are congruent. I can also look at the top of my head, and now this light will go in and come back. And we can prove using similar triangles that this little bit of the mirror is one half the height. So I think the similar triangles that I would use uh, here would be this giant one here, and then this little one here. So since they're embedded triangles, they're going to be uh, they're going to be similar. Similar. And if this is a value of x, then that's going to be a value of x. And since we don't specify how big x is, it'll work for um, for any distance that you are away from the mirror. So if this is height, and this is m. I think you'll find out that uh, the mirror equals one half one half the height. Um, and you can also then, if you'd like, you can do the same demo but back the person up. And you'll see, even if you put him here, his image is then going to move that much farther away as well. But you'll still use that exact same size of mirror in order to see yourself. Take it away. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, we need someone to stand up. We've never done this demo either, stand up in front of a mirror. Who's oh, never stand, stood up in front of a mirror? Have <laughs> 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 you done this demo before? Do you want to shout redemption, Jane? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and B, I'll need your help with the, the ruler. So stand a few feet away from the mirror. And uh, the, the key thing if you're doing this demo, make sure the students aren't moving their head. So you, you're going to keep, you're only going to move your eyes up and down. So tell me where to uh, mirror. So the top of your head is the top of the mirror. So just a little more down. That's on. Right about there? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Now, Keith is going to move up a ruler from the bottom. Tell uh, tell him to stop when the ruler hits your toes. Yeah, mm -hmm. just your eyes to see. Stop. Yeah, perfect. Okay, sure. Yeah. I can move it down. No, it's All right. Because now it's going to become permanent. Yeah. <laughs> and you see the amount of mirror that was needed from uh, line to the top. Let's hit it. What's that? I was going to tell her to stay Yeah. That's all that was needed for uh, for Jamie to see her whole image. And then it's so easy to do that in class. Here well, And uh, yeah, we need. And if we measure that, uh, we'll use inches. If that's okay. Heresy. <laughs> okay. About 32 and a half. Okay. So 32 and a half, double that, 65. Just flip the mirror over and put it next to her feet. Yeah, we're going to do oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's shoot that. Let's shoot that. 5 5. And then, so we can predict someone's height. If you're uh, off a little bit, like if the student moves, just like that, we can double. So there. The ribbon on your jeans. Right there. Right there. Yeah, so you can visually do that as well. So if you're sure about the measurement, you can predict the height. Right on. I can take the math out of it, you know. Yeah. You know that hard math of multiplying by two. <laughs> <laughs>